Hey there, Chris Kellett here to show you the new CAP2 custom audio player. So our last widget was, uh, the last audio player widget was a great little widget, but there was a couple of features that, that it needs now um, and some that it, we've enhanced. So it needed to be fully responsive and we also needed it to um, stop one piece of audio playing when another is clicked. So that was another feature so that people can use it for playlisting um, and um, other features. So let's take a look at a preview of this widget. So I'm just going to uh, bring up my, uh, here we go. And here we have the widget in action. You can see here, right? Click play. Audio you have the, and then we click another piece of audio. audio that one stops. Audio and you can restart that one. Restart that one. And so on. Okay. So the responsiveness as well. So if we scale this down to mobile, you'll see that when we get to this point here, the volume drops and we just get this nice mini player. So the widget is fully responsive and um, starts and stops audio, pauses audio on the other tracks, if you click one of those. So all of those features are now included. Let's take a look at what you can do with it. Now it's called the custom audio player because you can do a lot of things with it. The audio loader, the audio file loader, it's very simple, just an OG file and MP3. But if we jump into the customization, we can change the corner player radius. So let's put that to 100. And we can trade, uh, change sorry the player controls padding so let's uh, let's say let's put oh, let's leave those as they are we can change the button corner radius so maybe we'll take that to 100 and the button size we can change the player background color uh, let's change that to uh, green and we can change the player accent color so let's put that as a dark green and slider backgrounds you get the idea. So you can change the main colors. Then the button icons themselves, we can change those as well. So let's change those. And um, we can also change the hover state. We can load up custom icons. Uh, we can also do that in our custom video player. So let's take a look at that. Let's load those up. And if I click on, uh, if I go to the, um, I've got them sitting at the moment in the custom video player, but we'll package those along with it. So I've loaded those icons up now and you can see that our icons have now changed. So um, great thing with this is that you can have customized buttons and because it's an SVG file this widget will actually alter the color of the SVG files that you load so that's very useful as well. If I just open up, I'm just going to open up Illustrator here and I'm going to open up the SVG file so you can see how it's put together. Now this SVG file is a sprite file and it can be used for both the custom audio file and the custom um, video file. Let's go to file, open recent, let's go to that icons SVG there. You can see that all of the icons, the play button, the audio controls, everything is in this SVG sprite and to edit all we have to do is let's say for instance let's just click into here because it is a symbol, you can click in, modify it, keep the dimensions the same though because um, this uh, sprite has been set up to work specifically with this uh, widget so you, you need to, to do that and don't change the layer names, just keep everything the same, just modify that so you could for instance, I don't know, you could change this, you could if we double click into here um, keep double clicking until I get to this, there we go, um, I could remove that, we could have it without the circles, you could do what you want, load up custom hand-drawn sprites or whatever you wish. So that's um, that's really useful that you can do that and it's very easy to, to modify that and you don't have individual files that you um, need to work with, you just have one sprite, modify them all, save them and load them up. Let's set our widget back to uh, the default icons. And then down in the, uh, let's close the customize. Let's go to the background, the player background. So we have a couple of different options. One, we have none. So we can switch 
the background off so that we've just got the icons and the sliders. We could have a flat color as we saw here, so maybe we could change that to this uh, this green here. Let's change actually. I like working with those colors. <laughs> Let's just change this to the white. And we'll change this slider to this blue here. Let's change the let's change that to white as well. Um, and then in this custom color, let's go for let's take a look. Let's let's go for this nice dark blue here. Okay. The other thing that we have in here is gradient color. So we can switch off and you notice that the flat color options disappear and now we have gradient color. So we can set that, let's put a nice gradient on there and let's pop the opacity up. So you've got opacity control so you can have these nice custom um, semi-transparent players if you, if you wish. So we have gradient and we also have pattern. So I can load up a file here, let's say for instance, let's go to, let's load up this poster image here and load that into the player. So I've now loaded an image into the player um, uh, which has created that lovely gradient. So you've got a lot of control over what you do with the look of the player. If we preview this now, what you'll notice is that the um, all of the players have a matching look and feel to them because um, the styles of the player override the, the default styles. So if we hit preview now, you'll notice that when this loads up, we can't see any changes. Well, why is that? Well, the um, the order of the players controls, well, because of the way that CSS works, the last player on the page will be the one that sets the style. So for instance, if we switch these around, so if we do a bit of a switcheroo here, Move those to there. There we go. And now we hit preview. The other players will now take on the look and feel of the the last player on there. So you only have to put down one player. Just make sure you move it to the last one, and it will affect all of the others. So that's a really fast way um, of doing that. It, usually, though, you create one player and you would just then replicate it. So I would just replicate another player down and this was just because we had three players on there. So um, the reason I'm showing you that is if you come across that and you think, oh, what have I done? Then that is why. Let's just take a look. I'm just gonna put down here just for a bit of fun now as well. Let's just put down a background image. I'm gonna fill that with this poster. Um, Put it in a video suite. No, we'll put it in there. There we go. Let's pull in this poster here and set it to scale to fill. And let's just pull it down below these players and then just set it to stretch to width and send it to the back. And maybe we will even drag it down here. I'll just leave it there and take this one off. There we go. So let's preview this now. There you can see you've got this nice player match again with the look and feel. Um, the other things that we can do on this player as well is if we go to our background, we've also got the ability, or sorry, in customize. Let's close that down. We have a border color. So at the moment, we've got no border or shadow. So if we switch the border with shadow on, you'll notice now when we hit preview, 
that our widget will stand out more. So let's just change this. Let's just change this background to. Let's change the border to white for white. Let's change the. Um, we've got pattern. Yep, that's all good. Okay, so let's preview this now. So our player is now standing out more, um, but still combined and looking nice on the page. So that was the um, that was the border with a shadow. So the widget itself is very powerful, very easy to use, easy to customize, replicate, and one of the um, unique selling points of this is the way that it can interact with other instances on the page to switch one off and pause one and have another one playing so that you don't have multiple um, audio files playing all at the same time. So I hope you like this updated version of this widget um, and we can't wait to see what you do with it. Thanks for watching.